Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm reviewing the Tac Niner Tactical Multi-Tool Shovel. It has a lot of uh, features and tools in it, some of which you may find rather surprising. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Praxis Prepper, and in this video I'm doing a gear review of a product that I think was kind of interesting. I, I was sent this by uh, the company Tac Niner. Uh, they sent me a couple different things. Uh, just give you kind of a sense, uh, I'm not being paid to do this interview, but I did receive these products for free. Uh, they wanted me to check them out and share my feelings with you guys. I was very explicit with them that, you know, I, I share the good, I share the bad. You know, they're not, they're not sending and bribing me for a good review, just for me to share my thoughts. Uh, and uh, this is an interesting product to me because I, I have trouble believing that it's going to work really well. Uh, it, it, they call it a tactical multi-tool, uh, and I guess you, you guys might know my feeling on the word tactical. I don't know what the heck it means. Um, <laughs> I don't know, a tactical shovel, I don't know. Um, but I, it could, even though I, I laugh at the title of it, I, it could be a really cool product. But what makes me uh, a little bit um, curious about how well it's going to work is what it is, is there's a shovel with all these different sections and you screw them all together and, and then use it as a shovel. And what makes me feel like that is going to be kind of like a, a sketchy way to put it together is that I know from my own experience, I do a lot of digging and I live in New England and we grow a lot of rocks up here in our, in our gardens. Uh, and you know, every time you throw the shovel into the ground, you, you're almost always hitting a rock and then you're having to pry the rock out. And I've broken a lot of shovel handles, you know, pulling rocks out uh, and a lot of shovel handles that are, you know, say that they're reinforced and, you know, you know, heavy fiberglass with metal cores and all, all I've broken all kinds of shovels. So the fact that this thing has joints in it where they all screw together makes me really wonder whether it's going to work really well. So uh, I, I brought the box here out into the woods. I'm going to do some shoveling of some wet gravel and stuff. We're making a little half causeway across this waterway here to try to uh, kind of funnel the water so it goes a little quicker through a certain area. I figured I'd bring this out with me and, and give it a try. Now, I, I guess to do product reviews properly, I've, I've been told that you must unbox it on camera. I, I don't know, it seemed kind of silly to bring this whole box out into the woods, but I, you're right, we're unboxing it, okay? So here we go, and oh, they've got a, uh, it's kind of like a carry case. It looks like a carry case in there that has all the stuff in it. There is a piece of literature, which thanks us. Here's a picture of the shovel kind of screwed together, and they, they detail the different tools in here. Now the tools they have in here are a, the shovel, uh, there's a ruler, and an axe. Oh, I guess it, part, part of the shovel has a like a, a sharp edge, so there's a ruler and an axe on it. There's a hex driver, uh, on, you know, built right into it. There's a serrated edge, uh, knife edge, into the shovel, which that's a little frightening to me <laughs> that, that the shovel has a has a knife on it. Reminds me of like we've all heard of the spork. I've always joked I, I'd like to have a sp knife that's both a spoon and a knife, and then I, I joke that you can like you can take it out like out of your mouth that way, or just right through your cheek because it's a knife. So this is kind of like a, sh a shovel knife. That's a little bit, that's a little bit creepy for me. Is that a leech? No. Okay. I thought I had a leech on my leg because I'm right in the swamp here. Um, it has a hook and a wire cutter on it, um, an unlock and fold for uh, turning it into a hoe, so you can get it at a 90 degree angle, turn it into a hoe. There's a harpoon on there that you can uh, you can get on the end. A saw, a rescue knife, a bottle opener a safety hammer, a Phillips head bit, a flat head bit, I guess you can turn into a screwdriver, a magnesium flint fire starter, and a glass face compass for the for the end of it, which I guess means I'm not going to be flipping the shovel around and using it to compact dirt if it's got a compass on the end. So anyway, it's got a piece of literature that comes with it. It looks like kind of like a satchel strap. I'm going to put this to the side because that's not the interesting stuff. And here's the shovel in this bag. The bag feels pretty well put together. It's a decent bag. All right. And what do we got here? All right, so here's the shovel bit. And these are the sections that go together to build the shovel. So I'm going to open this up. And this is what I'm, I'm a little, you know, curious about is when these things connect with each other, how, wow, this thing's hot. It was sitting in my car. Uh, these are, oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, the thread on this thing, it's a backwards thread. So it's righty-loosey, righty, righty lefty-tighty. 
to get that in. Unless you're looking at it this way, I guess then it's righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Okay, so that locks down like that. And there's some other sections in here while I burn my leg with that piece. All right, so here's some additional sections. And these things, I guess, have, is that? Okay, so these come out and here's the harpoon section. I guess you'd screw that back in there and then you can put these together and get like a harpoon thing. But for putting this shovel together, it looks like what I do is I, I keep that in there. I'm not one for direction reading, obviously. Oh, and that won't fit in there. You know what? I bet, I bet this harpoon needs to face out so it goes in there. All right, so we got the, the harpoon. Okay, yeah, the harpoon has a nice, that feels really sharp, the, uh, the little saw blade. It's a tiny blade, but I guess in, a, in an emergency pinch, some blade is better than no blade, and there's a knife on the back side of that. Okay, so I bet this slides right in there. Okay, and then this goes in there, and then the last one's supposed to have the compass. Oh, okay, and the last one is the one I put in there. All right, so we got that. And then this goes in here, and you, you're starting to get a sense of the length of this thing. All right, it's not super long, I guess. I can see that holding up. Okay, so I've got this all tightened down. It's got a safety kind of sheave on here made out of thin plastic. I guess it's just to keep it from rusting. It's got some oil on there. All right, so there's that. Just for comparison, there's this. Wow, that's pretty sharp. That knife on the side is pretty sharp. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to be uh, taking some uh, your wet sand and gravel, putting it onto a causeway over here, and just get a sense of how this thing feels like it's, it's holding up. I've been using the shovel for a couple of minutes, and the head on it started getting a little bit loose. And I, I wasn't, obviously it just, needs to be re-screwed on and I kind of figured it out what was going on is that it's that lefty loosey righty tighty being reversed kind of thing where I, I was trying to tighten it back on and and trying to tighten it made it come off completely completely now this joint was is not really meant to come off I just want to pop out of the video for a moment because it's been a couple of days since I shot uh, the initial test that you're watching and there's going to be some more coming uh, later and my overall sense is that this tool is primarily useful as a shovel. I mean, that's what it looks like. I, I think uh, some of the other things are sort of like slap-on things that, you know, you, you can kind of use it as that thing, but really it's primary use as a shovel, and it's not bad as a shovel. The only problem with it as a shovel is really just this joint area right up here. And uh, there are a couple problems, and the, and the first one right off the bat uh, is that's just a little frustrating, and I think needlessly so, is that this, this little screw joint all the other ones, to tighten things up, it's regular righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. This one here, it, when you go to do that same kind of thing, it is righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. It's backwards from everything else that's on here. That's a little bit frustrating. And the other thing that's a little frustrating is that this, this is the collar here that loosens up the, uh, the shovel head so you can uh, you know, change the angle of it. So you can turn it into a, a hoe and then you know, retighten it like that, or, uh, sorry, taking half my brain just to remember to do this backwards every time I need to, uh, I need to, uh, you know, tighten it or loosen it. Um, so, uh, there's that collar right here, and as you're tightening that, you're, you know, you're, you're holding on to this, and then when you want to really snug it down, you, you want to have one hand on this to snug it down, and the other hand you kind of want to have on the shovel. But as you do that, there's another joint under here that as you're doing the snugging of this, you're loosening the joint under here. And I'll show you what that is. This is a joint that's not really meant to ever come off. I, I, I'm not sure that what the deal is with this. I, I mean, if there was like some you know, Loctite or something to kind of glue this joint down so it never came out, because it's not really, it doesn't seem like there's a need for this to ever come out. But this joint loosens when you try to tighten this up. And then this one is backwards also. Or is it backwards? Okay, it's hard, it's hard to keep track of which joints are backwards and which ones aren't backwards. So, I'm gonna kind of snug that back up. 
tighten that up, but now I'm loosening this thing. So really when it comes down to it, the only way to tighten up both of these, both the joint that's underneath and this kind of collar thing here, is to hold on to the shovel end, which is, I mean, there's a knife here, there's a knife there, and it's, it's kind of sharp at the top too. So you really, you have to hold on to the shovel somewhere and tighten up this collar here and then tighten up the bottom, the bottom shaft underneath. I, and now I'm loosening these other ones because these are backwards from that. That's a real killer on this, is that not all the, the uh, screw joints, they're not all the same. So you can't just grab from one end, grab on the other end, and tighten the whole thing down. Well, it worked that time. <laughs> sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. That's the thing. So I think that's the major failing of this. It works pretty well as a shovel. It is rigid as a shovel. Uh, and, and overall, it, it, it works reasonably well as that. It's just the problem is it's just this joint here you know, kind of self, self loosens. And then when you try to, when you try to snug it back up, you end up, well, not all the time. Now, now the one underneath is kind of locked up, but sometimes you end up popping this other joint underneath and that's kind of frustrating. But overall, if it stays together, when it is staying together, it does work pretty well as a shovel. Let's check the compass. And the compass seems to, yes, yes, the compass is reading properly. One of the uses of this multi-tool is supposed to be an axe, and that uh, that kind of surprises me even more than the shovel with this, because the idea of impact, you know, uh, shocks going through this handle makes me wonder, you know, what that's going to do to all these threads and everything. I've got a uh, tree here, not anything super uh, challenging. This is just a white pine, so it's a soft kind of uh, wood tree. But I'm going to take that and uh, use this as an axe to try to uh, clear some branches off of it. And, uh, and then maybe I'll try to like make a little dent in it. This is one that's kind of in our, our trail anyway, so I wouldn't mind having this one go down. Uh, and we'll, we'll give it a try. The side that you're supposed to use as an ax is this side on the same side as the ruler that they have marked off in, uh, in centimeters here. And um, yeah, there's, there's no, if you're totally against the metric system, there, there are no English units on here, just, just centimeters, just so you know. All right, so I'm gonna use this and try to clear some of these branches off. And I, I kind of wish it used both sides because I, I want to cleave down this side of the tree and I feel like I want to have the thing like this, but the ax is on this side, so I'll just kind of do that. All right, here we go. All right, right off the bat, uh, I, wow. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. There is a pretty big bend in this thing. So, I mean, I did not, I didn't give it much there, but I've already wrecked the handle on this thing. That was nice and snug down to begin with. So I don't think that's a very good use of this tool, the idea of using it as a, uh, an ax. I wonder if I do use the other side, if I can kind of knock it back straight and then, then maybe get the thing off. Let's see. These are, these are not very challenging branches here. Still, still kind of crooked. I'm going to hit another branch. It is cutting through, but I, I mean, the, the shovel is getting a lot of the, the blunt of the uh, uh, damage here. Okay, yeah. These joints are loosening up while I'm doing the hammering a bit. Okay, yeah, I did. I was able to kind of get that thing straightened out, but man, what did it do to the, the threads in here? All right. Yeah, they're they're pretty they're pretty ripped up. There's all this uh, you know shredded metal in there. I'm gonna put that off the trail so we're not stepping on it. Uh, using this as an axe is definitely not something that it's you know really strong enough to do. I mean, it's kind of a cool idea, but like I was saying, the shock of of each impact was uh, it ripped apart the metal of these things. So while as a shovel, it was a pretty good use, as an ax, I, I, I'm never gonna use it as an ax again because it, uh, it just, it can't survive that. I mean, this is white pine, a very soft wood, and uh, these are just really tiny little branches. So the fact that it, it, it failed doing those uh, makes me think it, it wouldn't really be good for anything. And, the, and white pine is, it's not a very strong wood at all. So as an ax, I would, I would not highly recommend this particular multi-tool, that function of it. You know, 
maybe for something like maybe it's like a uh, I don't know for like uh, cutting jello or something maybe it'd be okay for that here's my hoe at oh yeah here it is the multi-tool okay yeah so one of the other uh, uses of this is as a hoe which might seem kind of silly because it's a shovel also uh, but a lot of times when you're using a shovel out at camp it's for doing trench lines uh, to divert water around your tent or something like that so the idea that this kind of locks in at a hoe angle like there that 90 well not quite 90 degrees but approximately 90 degrees uh, is kind of useful so we're gonna see if that works I've got some soft uh, just uh, river deposit dirt here nothing particularly challenging we'll, uh, we'll give this a try and see how it works here Oh, that's that's pretty good. Okay, it's loosened up again. It just yeah, it just it loosens up a lot on its own there. And the fact that you got these two joints on top of each other that is a little frustrating because you try to loosen, you try to tighten one, and then you're loosening the other. That's a little frustrating. I, I think it's workable, but I think that there's some room for improvement on this part right here and the way that those kind of joints auto loosen and everything but as a hoe that's not bad except for the fact that it kept loosening up so i feel we've given a lot of tests to the shovel part of this using it as a shovel using it as a hoe using it as an axe um, and so far I, I think the failure points are as an axe obviously it wasn't happening i i didn't do a particularly uh, difficult test for it and and it was breaking at these joints that was sort of what i was anticipating would happen with something like this because it has the screw joints and everything that wasn't a big surprise to me in terms of the shovel and using it as a hoe the big weakness is this joint up here where it screws down and how it, it keeps like loosening itself and uh and, and the difficulty in retightening it quickly uh because of how the fact you have to hold on to the blade and all that kind of stuff so uh i'm going to leave this aside open this thing up. This is the joint that had started failing when we were doing the, uh, the chopping. I'm going to put this down and now we have, this is the harpoon and there's a saw blade. Now as a harpoon, I, the fish in this pond are just these tiny little things and uh, I don't think my aim would be good enough to hit them with these. Uh, but uh, I, I am going to try out the saw blade and see how that works. It feels pretty sharp and, uh, and I've got this, this log right here. It's just, it's an old, uh, felled tree from beavers. So I'm going to uh, take this and, uh, and give this a try. Okay. So the shortness of it definitely limits what you can, uh, you know, what you can cut through. Let's see. It is, it's kind of, it feels like it's kind of sticking in there. I do a lot of hand sawing, so I'm fairly familiar with how to do it, but this is this is jamming up in there a lot, it's, and it's it's warming up a lot too. There's a lot of friction, so something about the way that this blade is made, it's not clearing the channel for itself, so it's really sticking in there. It's not working super great. I'm going to try just on a thinner part of here and just see how it, it, it works on there, because this, this is pretty thick for a blade like this. Can it go easily through something a little bit thinner, just cutting the tip off here, maybe? Yeah, it is, it's seizing up. It looks like once it gets to be about three quarters of an inch in, in thickness, uh, this thing is just really jamming up in there and it is not, uh, it's not, uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Um, well, let me, I'm gonna give it one more try because let's try this. Now, obviously with a stick like this, you could just break it, but let's, <laughs> let's try the, uh, let's try the tool on it and just see how it works. Yeah, it really just sticks in there. Oh, and now it's loosening up. But, uh, you know, yeah it, yeah, it just jams in there. Now this is obviously something you would be, be easy for you to just break yourself, but even that is too challenging for this. Now, maybe this would work on rope or something like that, but in terms of using their saw on wood, um, I would, I, uh, yeah. That's, that did not work out that well. So what's the final word? 
do I recommend this to people? You know, and I don't think that it's as simple as saying, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. It really depends on what you want to get out of this thing. If you're just looking for a shovel, it has some benefits. It has this really nice long handle. You got some decent leverage and everything. And it's a shovel that worked really well. The only problem with this, uh, in terms of its use as a shovel, is just these joints, uh, these connections right here. Uh, the fact that th this thing kind of loosens up a lot. The fact that it has a, another uh, screw uh, underneath it, and it kind of you know, when you're tightening one, you're loosening the other. I think that that could be addressed really uh, just with some Loctite underneath on the on the joint that's not ever supposed to come off you just actually like lock that one down uh, there was the issue that I had at one point where I was trying to loose yeah where I was trying to loosen this thing up and I don't like the backwards so it's like you know it's a reverse thread thing but it was at one point when I was trying to loosen this thing up and I just couldn't which made it you know I always have to use my brain to remember which way to to tighten it back up uh, at one point where I was trying to loosen this thing to break the shovel down and I couldn't so there are some problems here but once you get the thing out it works pretty well and it's got a nice long handle and everything and, and I don't have anything negative to say about it in those regards but if you're buying this thing uh, as is advertised as as a multi-tool uh, I think that you would be disappointed with it because most of the functions of this thing are not really all that happening certainly the axe function was not there I mean the handle started breaking after just a couple light wax on, you know, a, some tiny little branches. Uh, the, the saw we saw was, you know, kept seizing up, and that's something that, uh, you know, I do plenty of hand sawing, so there was something, there's something up with the, the, the saw blade in here where it really jams up consistently whenever you're trying to use it. Uh, in fact, the only multi-tool things on here that really work, uh, you know, pretty well are the compass and the ruler, I guess. You know, there's these little hex joints in here I guess you could use as, you know, as a wrench, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I mean, just the size of this thing is so big and, and cumbersome in terms of using it as a wrench, I, I don't really even think that those are particularly awesome. I mean, like, to get that, this thing down and then you have this huge radius, I guess you could take, take segments off of it or, or put this in the, the hoe position, so you're kind of doing that, but still, it's, it's pretty awkward in, in that regard. So really, it's a shovel. It has a functional compass on the side. You know, th this little uh, cutting tool here, you know, that, that, that worked okay. I did t test that, you know, not on camera, but I did test that. It, it cuts through rope all right and everything. But as a multi-tool, you know, the majority of the, of the aspects of this, uh, you know, I, I don't think are all that super desirable or didn't really work all that great. But as a shovel, it is a neat design. It has such a long handle. Um, so would I recommend it? If you're just looking for a shovel and you want something that has that length on there, you know, I would recommend it to you. For anything else, I would say, you know, it's probably going to let you down or make you feel like it's just not performing at the level that you'd like it to. And even as a shovel, Tac Niner makes another shovel, and it's uh, here's a link here if you want to check out that that review. That's the classic kind of three-fold shovel, and that thing was really awesome. That had no no downsides or anything like that. If you were going to get one or the other, I would recommend that. But, um, you know, if you like the fact that this has a nice long handle, it does work as a shovel once you get it up. That's what he said, she said. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.